What up everybody, Bitcoin sitting at $61,622, not a bad spot. As you guys know, we had Van Eck go ahead and apply for their Solana ETF this week, which is quite interesting. Pretty sure it'll get denied, but that's whatever. Also, Marathon Digital announced that they're mining Heavy and De Casper right now, so it could potentially be good or it could potentially be bad because they are a business, so they're only looking to sell. So... I not necessarily sell, but they're looking to profit and castle miners are pretty profitable and it's only profitable if you sell it. So, you know, there's that. Um, aside from that, mm, can't really think of too much. Uh, we do have a new GPU mineable coin for you guys. I'll show you guys how to get it set up in Windows and Hive OS, uh, Joss Network. I'm going to walk you through all that and the fun that it is. Um, yeah. Go ahead, like, subscribe, do all those fun things. Comment down below. What's your current sediment of the crypto market? I know some people were like, Ape in time of the bulls. Uh, it's kind of chilled down a little bit. Don't get me wrong. Just about a lot of things are up right now, but it's not that 2021 bull run. So are you guys feeling that the crypto market's still popping off? Is it calming down? Do you think we're still going to get that run at the end of the year, 2025? Let me know down below in the comments and let's get into it. Okay, so the Joss Network is a decentralized gaming connected blockchain network. All the normal stuff you see in these projects, not really anything new or interesting. The, the Joss coin utilizes a unique hashing algorithm known as Allium. Allium combines several other hashing algorithms with Lyra 2 as, it primar as its primary component, similar to Lyra 2RE. These include uh, Blake, Shaw 3, Kakik, Law 2, blah, blah, blah. Technical jargon. What we really care about is going to be total supply is going to be 880 million two minute block times. The block reward is 1400 algorithm is Allium a reward reduction every month. And they do have a smart node. The collateral is 168,000. Um, yeah. As far as a pre-mine goes, let's go ahead and check that out. Mm. They don't have their Bitcoin talk here. I don't like that because you know they got one and that's where pre-mine data would be. Okay, aside from that. Mm, let's go check out their white paper really quick. And they don't have a white paper. Okay, so another standard crypto project they Got everything set up, put it out. It didn't, there's relatively nothing to be shown. One big pet peeve I'm going to say right now is they have all of these other crypto projects like pancake swaps, uh, sushi, all that presented on their front page. And these projects that are legit, they're, I feel like they're kind of using them to try and legitimize their project. I don't like seeing stuff like that unless you've actually been working, building. I don't think you should use other people's, uh, likenesses in your project even if you do plan on actually building it out but that's not what this is about this is about mining so we're going to be using our favorite pool our plant um yeah okay so for the miner we're going to be using cc miner uh make sure you guys go ahead download your wallet download it somewhere safe vm uh its own separate portion of your computer do that be safe don't be stupid don't get hacked but so minor we're going to be using cc minor uh windows uh america paste your wallet in worker name turn off ssl and then you'll get your little code thing uh minor make sure you download that run that i do believe this only works with nvidia cards i have done some test with uh, AMD and failed horrifically. So I might have to try that again. I did mine it a little bit on just one card. So there's that. We're going to go over to our miners, download it, extract it, do all that stuff. 
you're going to come over to the note, the config file. If you don't have a config file, just go ahead, create one, a notepad, uh, save it as a dot config. You'll get a config file, click it. You should have one. Sometimes people don't have them. Sometimes you do. If you don't have it, just go to GitHub or you can find the stuff. Just, you should have it. So for, you're going to come in here for your algorithm. You're going to come and paste in the allium. So just that one right there, copy it, paste it for algo. Then you're going to go get your stratum. Make sure you have that paste in the stratum line. And then you're going to your password dot user. Go ahead and save all that. I didn't really mess with any of that. File, save it. You're all good and set up to go on windows. Uh, make sure you guys comment down below how you're feeling about the crypto market and make sure that you're subscribed so that you can keep getting videos. Cause this could be the one that pops off. It could be, it also could not be, but you never know. And so, oh, my nose here, itchy today. For you Hive OS folks, we're going to come over to Hive, go into your farm, do the whole add wallet thing, coin, I'm going to put in Joss, create, paste your wallet address, and go ahead and name it. Then you'll go over to your flight sheets. Uh, for this one, we're going to, so you're going to find Joss, web, configure your pull and miner, and then we're going to be using CC miner, set up miner for algo this one is the allium so for minor fork the true whatever that is if that doesn't work uh i do believe uh sometimes also the fancy ix one is also a good one to run so yeah uh wallet dot worker you're gonna paste in your url url over from uh, our plant and then paste that in there. Don't have to worry about password. Don't have to worry about those. And then you can do extra arguments. If you want hit apply changes, don't forget to name your flight sheet and then create your flight sheet and you're all good to go. I mean, as far as the project goes, it could potentially, I don't know at this point, some of them list you're really profitable if you get it on it early enough. And then it's more profitable than mining for the day. If we go over and look at something like hash rate.no, our favorite website, it's not, um, 40, 90 in profit is only doing 26 cents a day. So, I mean, you mine something like this, it turns out to be a little bit more profitable than 26 cents because there's a lot less difficulty and you can stack your bag while there's no one on the network. If it lists uh, decently and you sell early, it's kind of worth it. It's kind of how I play these coins. Definitely a mine and dump. There have been some projects lately that have been complaining that miners are selling. And I think that is stupid because that's what miners are supposed to do. And those same projects that complain about miner selling are the same ones who get devs uh, have dev fees, which is interesting because it's like, so miners can't take profit in helping you secure your project, but you can take profit in not finishing your project because like miners only make money when they sell, which projects don't seem to want to understand. But I bet you if you quit paying devs and there was no dev fee, there wouldn't be work getting done on the project. So my little tangent for the episode, make sure you guys go ahead, subscribe, comment down below. If you like this kind of content also, cause you guys actually stayed this long comment down below, what kind of content you guys would like to see in the future. I do have another mineable coin video coming out probably, uh, tomorrow. There will definitely be a solid update video coming out probably this weekend. I've kind of moved more to the, towards the weekend, uh, recording just because of work, homework, all that fun stuff. But yeah, like subscribe, comment, do all the fun things. I'll see you guys next time. Can't wait till we're all crypto millionaires and peace out.